feel about having a honey badger turn loose on their genitals. In other words, they're not overly uh, fond of it, and, well, it might kill you. We went from having 40s through 60s about two weeks ago to having fucking 20s, teens, 30s within the last few days. Seven to eight inches of snow, and of course, it is April fucking 4th. Fuck you, Wisconsin, and your weather. Grievance number two. Teenagers and the fucking Tide Pod phenomenon. I don't get this. The Tide Pod challenge, if you will. Which, I guess, is I'm going to eat this Tide Pod, and if I don't die, I guess I win the challenge. Would serve to be my guess, because if you eat a Tide Pod, you're probably gonna fucking die. I've stayed mostly away from watching the videos of the actual Tide Pod challenge, mostly because I'm pretty concerned that watching them will cause what is left of my brain to liquefy and run out of my ears. If someone wants to send me a link to one, I'll watch it, but I don't want to. Why the fuck would you eat a Tide Pod? And more importantly, like the kid I saw last week on YouTube, why would you smoke, yes, that's right, bong rip a Tide Pod? He takes this clear glass bong and slices a Tide Pod open, plops it in the bowl, and then hits it with a fucking blowtorch. I can't make this up. I don't want to make this up. I never thought that anyone would ever bong rip a Tide Pod, but he did. I hope he doesn't breed. Grievance number three. The newest craze I've seen. The, uh, the condom snorting challenge. I'm sorry, I can't get through this part without laughing. <laughs> because watching these idiots snorting latex up their noses, it makes me feel so damn good that I... God, I don't have to care about any of your well-beings. I really don't. I mean, it, it is truly astounding. You're snorting a condom for views. I didn't know this was a thing until about a day, day and a half ago. And my oh. wife last night found out about it for the very first time. And I'm like, yeah, I guess people are like stuffing these fucking things up their noses and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> inhaling a condom. I'm not sure what the shit the actual challenge part of this is and what the hopeful goal of said challenge is. But, um, there's the gist of it. So, she goes, you know, okay, Google, show me a video of a moron snorting a condom. I shit thee not. That is exactly what she asked Google to do. And Google did not disappoint us. <laughs> ah, and this kid's like 19. And he's like, so I'm going to do the condom snoring challenge. And if I don't puke, I win it. And I'm like, why would you snort a fucking condom to begin with? Don't you win by not snorting the condom? A condom goes over your dick. So you can fuck. And not, you know, copulate. Which, by the way, to the kid who I watched who did not puke when he flossed his nasal passages with a condom, because, yeah, he did get it up there, and it did come out of his mouth. Um. To you. Bravo, but fuck's sake, man. Please always use a condom, because we don't need you bleeding. Any rate. That is it for this special rant edition of Enter the Void. I will soon be coming back with new, original, and hopefully more entertaining content. Until then, stay sick. Stay metal. Stay real, degenerates. Peace. Oh, oh, dad. Won't you spare me over?